Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a simple traveling flyer by applying some simple techniques in Adobe Illustrator. So we are going to start. Uh, we have already created an artboard in Adobe Illustrator and I selected two colors which will be our main colors of designing a flyer. So first of all I am grabbing the rectangle tool. In order to apply the colors on, on this shape, I have to go in the Windows tab and then Gradient. Here you can see two colors. Simply click on it. Uh, in order to change the color, uh, color, simply select on this one and select the eyedropper tool and simply click on the color. For changing the shade of the second color, simply click, click on this and grab the color picker tool and click on the other color. Now you can see we have already created a nice gradient. You can you can now pick up the pen tool. We are going to get some effects of wave in the flyer. Pen tool from here or a shortcut P and start drawing as you can see we have draw we have drawn this shape now to make it a solid simply duplicate this shape by pressing alt and simply drag upward now grabbing the direct selection tool select those anchor points both anchor points right click and join do the same for this as well now if you change the fill it will be transformed into uh, something like this okay uh, now i'm adding some effects like drop shadow go to effect stylize drop shadow and here you can change the opacity change the offset y offset x offset or blur you want to keep currently i'm just keeping one offset and one blur to give it a and you can change the color of the shadow as well okay uh, now first of all i'm uh, putting up the main image in the background i have already sorted out the pictures from pixels.com and simply copy image and we are going to paste it into Adobe Illustrator by pressing Ctrl V. Align the image using these options. Align center and send it to back. Arrange, send to back. Uh, lock all the layers. Simply take pen tool and start drawing. Now I have created a path in which I am going to clip the image. Simply select this shape and the image, right click and make clipping mask. Ok and send these two layers at the back. Now you can simply see that the image is perfectly clipped in the background. We can make adjustment as per our requirements as well. Let it keep it as it is. Okay. Now moving forward, we are going to add some more images as it is a traveling flag, so we are going to show some images of uh, Malaysia. Simply I have created a square box and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl S. Now these are two layers. Simply grabbing the upper layer and scale it down something like this. Okay. Change its color so that the image can be easily clipped inside it and make another copy ok uh, now selecting some more images simply copy lower the opacity so that you can see where you are going to clip it now it is perfectly inside the orange box so we can easily clip it what you have to do just simply increase the opacity to 100% and uh, use the shortcut control and left square bracket keep on pressing and the image will go behind the orange square simply select both 
uh, image is shape and make clipping marks your image has been clipped successfully uh, do the same for the next one give a nice shape to the uh, outer white square then increasing the opacity increasing the blur and i think it's okay apply the same effect on this effect apply drop shadow now same effect on blue. press control c and control f to duplicate another layer and now these on the lower the circle lower as scale down the circle and change its color to white and interchange with the stroke okay in order to distinguish between the background and the circle we can do one more thing select the circle press control c and control f and simply apply black color Uh, one more thing we can do that the bottom background is looking a bit dull uh, we can add some effect into it so i selected another image and simply copy and scale it Now we have to place some text uh, as it is related to some what Malaysia so we can Now we need to add some icons. Okay, if you want to apply that text from some uh, text style from other text, simply select this uh, text and use eyedropper tool and simply press on the style that you want it to be copied. So it will copy the style. Uh, I am showing you how to add one icon, then you will be able to add other icons from your own. So just uh, here we should write aeroplane icon. So simply open any picture, copy image, bring it into Adobe Illustrator, paste it, select image trace option, it will image trace the image, then select expand option. It has expanded the object and simply then ungroup, ungroup, and then using the magic wand tool, simply select on the white portion and press delete. Now you have the icon ready. It is one of the efficient method I should say to create the icon and simply change its color to white. Make it aligned. Scale down the size. In the same way, you will be adding the other icons. Okay. Uh, now we can add some text in the upper background as well. 